Today, we're discussing the history of the boomerang. No, the, the fighter, not the thing. The fighter of the Commonwealth boomerang, right here on Gary's Stuff. Hi there, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Today indeed is History Day. I'm looking at the history of this, the Commonwealth CA-13 Boomerang, the kit of the week in 172nd scale from Airfix, a vintage classics release. I'll be having a look at the history of the aircraft itself and then a look at the history of the kit and what other kits are available of it. Now, if you liked the video, please do remember Imperial thumbs up on the button below if you'd be so kind. And if you'd like to offer a bit more concrete support, you can do that through Super Thanks by becoming a channel member or indeed through any of my partner programs. Now, if you want to see how to build one of these, that's coming up soon. How are you going to know when that video is released? You're going to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell if you haven't yet done so and you'll be notified of all my future releases as they're around. And if you are thinking of buying one of these and want to know what's inside the box, a video is already available on the channel. Let's have a look then at the history of the Commonwealth Aircraft Corporation CA-13 Boomerang. CAC Boomerang was a single-seat fighter aircraft designed and manufactured by Australia in World War II. When Japan entered the war at the end of 1941, Australia was under threat of attack. While some supplies of British aircraft, such as the Spitfire, were made available, they were in small numbers and unsuited to the harsh conditions. An urgent supply of a homegrown fighter was needed. The Commonwealth Aircraft Corporation was already making the North American NA-16 under license as the CAC Wearaway trainer. Crucially, the contract allowed for local modifications to be made. Keeping the tail, wing and centre section of the Wearaway, CAC added a 1200 horsepower twin WASP engine, a single seat cockpit, sliding hood and an armament of two 20mm cannon and four 0.303-inch machine guns. The first flight of the CA-12 Boomerang was in May 1942, with the first squadron becoming operational in October. While manoeuvrable at low level, the aircraft was relatively slow and had poor high-altitude performance. Nonetheless, its mere presence saw off many attacks. A slightly improved version of CA-13 followed with the last production version being the C-819 tactical reconnaissance aircraft. Ultimately, boomerangs were flown by five Royal Australian Air Force squadrons. It excelled in low-level Army cooperation work over the New Guinea jungles, tasks which included directing artillery fire and marking targets for P-40 Kitty Hawk and F-4U Corsair attack aircraft. By the end of the war, some 250 boomerangs had been produced. At least nine aircraft survive today in museums in Australia, with two aircraft that are still airworthy. This Airfix kit dates from 1965 and it's originally sold bagged rather than boxed. Since that time, it has been through the mill of boxes and rebranding until it was finally released under the Vintage Classics label in 2022. It was also sold under the MPC name in 1968, as well as by Plasti in the late 1960s and by Tomy in 1976. Hobby Club made their own tooling of the boomerang in 1992, and in the late 1990s, NKR released a resin kit of the CA-14A prototype turbocharged boomerang. 
Also in the 1990s, Tasman models introduced their 172nd scale kit of the CA-12, injection moulded with white metal parts and vac-formed canopy. These have been re-released on numerous occasions since, with new parts and schemes for the other main variants, before coming full circle back to the CA-12 in 2014. In 2011, a special hobby made a kit of the early CA-12 boomerang in 172nd scale, following it with the CA-13 in 2012 and the CA-19 in 2020. In other scales, Montex made a 132nd scale kit of the boomerang in resin, with details in other media. This kit was taken up by Alicat in 2013. Tasman models under the name Kiwi Wings made a 148 scale kit of the CA-12 in the 1990s, just like with their 172nd range, went on to make several releases of different variants all the way up to 2014. Special Hobby made a 148 scale kit of the CA-12 in 2008, with the CA-13 following it in 2012. Classic Castings made this 148 scale resin kit in 1989, and a few years later NKR bought out their own resin kit. LTD Models made this new tuning in plastic in 1996. Finally, in 2008, Kami de Korokoro made this 144th scale kit of the boomerang, a scale also used by Decapod models for these 3D printed kits, which you can buy with the gear either up or down. So there we go then, what a remarkable aeroplane. Um, I would have thought it could take a trainer and with a lot of ingenuity, turn it into a, you know, a respectable fighter. Um, okay, not going to be useful for assaulting bomber streams at high altitude or whatever. That's not what it was designed for. It was designed to protect Australia against the Japanese and it did a really good job down at low level. Um, both as a fighter and also as directing fire from strike aircraft and artillery. Remarkable little plane. Um, really glad a kit that's available, to be perfectly honest. If you've enjoyed the show, please do remember, give it the Imperial thumbs up on the like button below. If you'd be so kind, because every like counts. And of course, if you don't want to miss anything, including the build video for this kit, do make sure you've subscribed to the channel hit that bell and you'll be notified of all my future video releases. Thank you so much for watching today. Hope to see you again very soon. Take care now. <laughs>